What's up guys? Welcome back to the Tenorshare channel. When you try to sign in your iPhone or iPad with your Apple ID, you might see an error message like this. Saying that verification failed, there was an error connecting to the Apple ID server. It also happens when we are signing out. It's kind of weird because the password we entered is correct. No worries. In today's tutorial, we'll go over the most effective solutions for this issue. So, let's dive in. First, let's head to Settings, General, Data and Time. Make sure your time zone is set automatically and turn on the toggle for 24-hour clock. Then try logging in your Apple ID again. The verification issue often has to do with network connection, so here I'd like to show you how to check it out. First, make sure you have connected to a network, either a Wi-Fi or cellular data. Then what we're gonna do is navigate to the list of apps using our network and make sure we have allowed settings to use Wi-Fi or cellular data. To test it out, we open Safari and try visiting apple.com. If the web page loads up swimmingly, we are all set to try the verification again. If not, try another Wi-Fi or use cellular data if you are outside. A more powerful fix for the network issue is reset network settings. We can find the option in general, reset, and then go ahead and reset it. Just make sure you have your Wi-Fi password ready so you can set up a network again once the phone boots up. If the issue persists, you might want to consider the option to reset all settings. It won't erase your data, so rest assured. After all the steps above, it'd be a wise move to give your phone a fresh restart. For iPhone 10 or later, is press and quickly release the volume up, then press and quickly release the volume down, then press and hold the side button, let it go when the Apple logo shows up. Moving on to our last part, I'd like to walk you through repairing this issue with Rayboot, which is a professional iOS repair tool. So once you install and open it up on your computer, plug your phone in. From the home screen, click Start. Then we'll get two options here. The standard mode can preserve the data for you, while the deep repair has high success rate for trickier issues. We are going with the standard repair. Download the firmware to a folder we prefer, and then we can start repairing. Well done. As the repair comes through, we'll be back to the home screen. Now you can try logging into your Apple ID again. In our case, we fixed this issue eventually. I can sign in and out with no problem at all. Hope it works for your guys too. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. See you in the next video.